Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another trade video. How are you, doing? How are you guys doing? So today I'm going to go over a trade, uh, actually two trades. I did trade uh, Plug Power Technology on the long side. Uh, Plug Power, Power Technology is actually a uh, hydrogen fuel cell. Uh, I guess you can see almost like an electric vehicle type of play. Uh, it's been moving quite uh, well the last couple of days. The data had, it broke up to new time. Yesterday it broke to new time, uh, to uh, all time highs. So there's an opportunity for a second day move today. Um, and I did trade on the long side. Now I'm gonna go over that trade overall and how well I did. And I also did trade US Steel. Uh, I'd actually shorted uh, US Steel because it's been um, moving uh, the last several days over standard on the chart. I felt like it was a high probability for the short. Uh, so a, a quick uh, little um, exhaustion, uh, I, I guess you could say uh, more of like a pullback of relief uh, sell off and I took advantage of that trade. So I'm going to go over those two trades today, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel below. Uh, let's get started. Let me share my screen. Okay. So uh, plug, why did I decide to trade plug? Overall, plug has been trending uh, very, very well the last couple of days. A lot of it has to do with the uh, electronic vehicle sector, uh, which in a way plug is in that in that sector uh even though it's not specifically electronic vehicles it's more in the hydrogen fuel cell uh so it's in the i guess you could say renewable sector uh so it's been moving with a lot of these uh ev stocks including uh tesla neo all those type of stocks so today uh, well yesterday first of all it made a, a pretty big move on huge volume you know check this volume right here so it was up over 5% yesterday on huge volume. Um, and not really on any particular news, more on just the momentum of the overall sector, uh, the hydrogen fuel sector, the renewable sector, things like that. And it broke to all time highs. So today I was looking for a, uh, a low hanging fruit long to take advantage of that trend, to continue that trend. Uh, now, I usually uh, like to enter my position on a pullback to the midpoint. And that's pretty much exactly what I did. Now, there was an opportunity. And now, it did kind of bounce off this level, the midpoint. And there was an opportunity for me to take profits here at 2840. Um, I was kind of hesitant. I wanted a bigger move uh, just because of the volatility, uh, the, uh, the way the, 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 the stock was moving. It has a high short interest of over 18%. I really felt like it was going to be able to break over uh, green to red type of move. And I wanted pretty much to, um, you know, I, so I pretty much once I started a trend, I put my stop below a day. I wanted to follow my process to see if that was going to break through. And I wanted to just plug to do its thing. Uh, unfortunately, it did pull back and I got stopped out for a very small loss. Uh, but that was okay because I was focused on U.S. Steel, the stock, and I did trade that one very well. Uh, and it's all about risk management, guys, you know. Sometimes you, you, you miss an opportunity to take profits um, and sometimes you, you win on the other. So, you know, now, so that was pretty much it with uh, plug power technology, plug power stock. Uh, overall, you know, the trade did work. I didn't take profits which where I should have, uh, but that's okay because I actually more than made on it on U.S. Steel. So why U.S. Steel? And, uh, and actually, before I kind of keep going on that, I just want to mention, guys, that one of the hardest things about becoming a, a day trader is, is when you're trading more than one stock, you know, how do you manage your focus? Um, and, it's, and it's not the first time it's happened to me with terms of plug and other stocks, but when you're trading uh, two stocks at the same time, sometimes you lose focus and you're looking at another stock and things like these tend to happen. Now, I am gonna go over uh, US Steel and how I traded it because overall, even though I took a small loss on plug power, my big win on US Steel more than made up for it. Uh, and it was definitely more than uh, two to one, more probably like three, four to one risk reward. So let's uh, check uh, on, on U.S. Steel. Now, overall, U.S. Steel has been trending insanely. Uh, if you look at the Bolger bands, it, it kind of broke above the Bolger bands. Uh, and I had a huge move yesterday, huge range with high volume yesterday. Uh, and also, um, you know, stochastic is trading above uh, the 80 level. So to me, I felt like, you know what, U.S. Steel looks like it, it's going to pull back sooner or later. It needs some sort of relief pullback uh, because it's been going up so much several days in a row. Actually, yesterday was the third day in a row, and yesterday had a huge move. 
so I was looking for two things. I was looking either for uh, some sort of gap up and exhaustion move out of that to short into, or some sort of, uh, or even some sort of blow off candle today to short tomorrow. But we did have a nice little strong moving gap up and there was a skewed resistance level here at 20. So when I noticed it did touch that and rejected it, um, I wanted to kind of see if the price action was gonna give me an opportunity to short. So it had a strong open, hit the 20 level, pulled back below the volume weighted wage price, um, uh, reclaimed it again, but then it started selling. So my, my, my thought process was like, if it breaks 1970, I'm gonna be short. I think this is gonna be the opportunity for me to, uh, to short and get in. So it did broke 1970, added short, a pretty decent size. I covered my first uh, half at the 1947. Uh, so that was a nice trade. Um, I was actually surprised that this 1940 held. I was actually looking for a bigger move. Uh, usually during a red to green move, I would usually get pretty huge sell loss right away once it goes red. Now this uh, blue line, this is the, uh, what I call the previous close. So once it goes below that, it actually goes red. So, uh, and you notice here on the red, you know, it's negative 1.59%. So once it crosses this uh, blue line, it actually goes red. It's negative for the day. So it went red, but it bounced off. And I was actually looking forward to kind of just go red and stay red and continue red and, and actually have a huge sell loss straight to 19. Uh, it didn't quite do that. It actually started to, um, to kind of bounce back up. It kind of bounced and it reclaimed the uh, previous close. So that's when I started to take, uh, take some profits and take the rest off. So I ended up taking uh, the rest off here at, at the close. I did have a really nice win on US Steel overall. Um, you know, even though the, 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 the price action didn't really give me, a, you know, a good reason to kind of keep holding, it wasn't really moving the way I wanted to move. So I needed to get out. So uh, that was pretty much it with that. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you know, sometimes when you have your, your specific process in day trading, you want to make sure that you keep that process the same every single time. You want to make a systematic process in terms of when you enter, in terms of when you exit, uh, in terms of your target and what your stop is. And you want to keep it the same throughout the, the trades. So whether it be a low hanging fruit type of trade or a first red day, you want to keep those exactly the same. Uh, because when you start changing processes here and there, that's when your your consistency starts to change. And the, again, the goal of becoming a profitable day trader is you want to be consistent. So that means your process has to stay consistent uh, to keep those those trades. So that was pretty much what happened to me with Plug. Um, I wanted to keep maintain my process, uh, you know, and I wanted to focus on my target. Now, I didn't quite hit my target the way I wanted to, uh, but that was okay. It is part of my process. So. Uh, hope you guys learned something from this video, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Uh, you guys will hear from me soon. Take care.